Hey Virgo, it's your girl Dominique with Empathic Guidance and I'm back with another video for you guys today. And today I'm back with you guys mid-June 2021, The Lies They Tell and The Secrets They Keep. Um, before I turned on your video, I was channeling Janae, I Janae Aiko, Stay Ready, the part where she was saying, come to me, come, come to me, look at what you've done to me. You brought the sun to me, then you put a gun to me. Shine like blood diamonds, learning to have patience only because you are timeless. So whoever this individual is that's coming towards you, um, they could feel as though you brought a lot of happiness into your world because when they say, you brought the sun to me, then you put a gun to me. I equate that to the sun card in um, traditional tarot where it's like you brought this person a lot of happiness or this can be how you feel about this individual. You know, you can feel like this person brought you a lot of happiness and now they suddenly turning on you. Um, they could be acting in a way as an enemy. They could be really battling with you. Um, you could be afraid that this person will hurt you, you know, like maybe you even feel like, like if you live with this person, you may feel like you got to sleep with one eye open, you know, because this person may be vengeful towards you now. So, um, I don't know if that's what's going to come out, but that's the energy that I definitely got from Janae Aiko, stay ready. And I will say that it appears to be a path and maybe you've had a lot of patience for this individual. Because maybe your love for this individual is a, like a timeless type love. Like maybe you feel like this person could do no wrong even if they do everything wrong. You know? And so maybe you have a lot of patience for them because your love is infinite for them. You know? So let's go ahead and look into it and see what's going on. Holy Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, and Spirit Guides. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise, channel messages for the astrological sign of Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the month, mid-month of June 2021, Spirit. Who's coming towards Virgo? Sorry. Wow, fated to suffer an obsession. You may feel like this person's like way out of a treacherous lifestyle or a treacherous life. Like maybe this person has felt as though they were not granted the best of luck. You may have came into this person's life and things, you know, could have really flourished for them. Um, maybe you just, the energy that you give is so abundant that the people that you share it with it's transformative to their lives and then i'm getting obsession here so then that that level of energy the highness of you know whatever type of light you exude essentially made this person grow an obsession for you um i do see this person you and this individual may mirror each other or there can be this energy of this person projecting their energy onto you with this mirror here um this can also be an indication of mirror magic picture magic you know you name it but i do get that parts of you kind of reflect this individual i feel like you give this person a hope in a sense but it's kind of warped it's not in a positive way you know is what i'm feeling but let's just dig a little deeper you know, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the queen of my world. So this person could definitely be looking at you, you know, like you just, the goddess, the queen of their world. You know, maybe this is even how you make them feel if you're the masculine Virgo. You could really make them feel like they're the queen of your world. And so they could be obsessed with your energy because you make them feel so good like that. But if not, and you the feminine Virgo, then this is how this person is feeling about you. They may have grown an obsession because they may look at you very highly, put you on a pedestal, so to speak, love your energy, feel like it's healing, and they may have a lot of passion for you. They could be a fire sign. I was kind of getting Leo um, from 
that verse in a song where they said, you brought the sun to me. I'm like, is this person a Leo? Or did they just bring you extreme happiness? And take it as it resonates, guys, because somebody very well can be feeling these things for you. Whoever this person is, you walked away from them or they walked away from you. Um, they could have pulled back their energy because they could have felt like it was an unhealthy attachment. They could have felt like it was transforming them in a negative way. This person no longer wanted to wait for you. They no longer want to wait for you. Or vice versa. I'm going to say it as if this is how this person feels about you. So you could be the person that walked away from them. Okay? Let's just put it like that. You could be the person that walked away from them because this person had you feeling like your attachment to them was unhealthy, obsessive, addicting. You know? And those are not healthy ways to feel about a person. So you could have pulled back your energy from this individual. And then pulling back your energy, this person can definitely be feeling like, damn, like I lost the queen of my world. And so now I don't know if this person, like the obsession is to, to get you to make a U-turn and not make the decision to walk away from them. You know, and hopefully they're not trying to make you back addicted to them again. But you got to be aware of this individual coming from an artificial place. You know, I mean, some people, the reason why they are so, is they, they, they have the capability to make us feel like they're coming towards us with gen, genuine love. Because... Of what they show us but what they show us is likely some energy that they could be either duplicating from you watching you studying you or other individuals that they've been with that have shown them genuine love this person may not be capable of the love that it is that you wish for them to give you so you got to be aware because in a sense this person is coming up as somebody that's artificial hearted and the only way that they know how to connect to individuals is through un unhealthy attachments, like obsession and addiction. And that may be likely how they gain their relationships is through, you know, making, I don't want to say making people obsessed with them, but, you know, people got their ways of kind of doing that through trauma bonding, you know, tantric lovemaking. All of that. Wow, we we have the hermit. You came out. You fell on the floor, so I'm going to put you back if you come back out. Oh, but this person can definitely be fearing that you're um, intimately involved with someone else. And they could be really dwelling on that. Maybe they're trying to manifest you romantically because the hermit in this deck is doing that. Um, this person is feeling like they're losing you. They could be feeling like you are most... Wow! Oh. Well, I said if it came back out, yes, they're trying to manifest you romantically. You see how he's focused on that that um red candle? Yeah. So he's fearing that you are off being intimate with someone else. And it's likely just a fear. But this person has isolated themselves from you. I never even noticed on here that this person needed a shave. But yes, this person, wow. I'm seeing a lot about this hermit that I didn't see before. I'm seeing scratches. So I don't know why this person is pulling back their energy, but I do feel like you was this person's good luck charm or they're realizing now that they lost you that you were something that was sent to them by the divine to help them either break a generational curse because I do see that this fated to suffer as like a generational curse or um, even if it's just over this person's life, maybe their life has just been attracting a lot of darkness, a lot of temptation that's ended them in bad situations. And you may have been the first individual that brought a different result into this person's life, made them feel different, made them feel alive. Um, and for some reason, you walked away from this person. It was likely that you learn something about yourself or you learn something about this individual that made you pull back i gotta change the battery in my it just started doing that guys so 
Vice faded to suffer in reverse here. Yes, they see you as the Queen of Cups. It's that healing energy. That unconditional love, that healing energy, that femininity. You know, maybe at one point this person really loves to like snuggle up against your breast like that. But this is the sexual tarot of magic. But overall, this person just feels like you give them this very healing, motherly energy. Um, maybe they even see you as somebody that they want to have child, a child or children by. They want to start something with, and it's like they want it. They manifesting that, but it's like, are they coming towards you? Because it seems like this person has become reclusive from you and other individuals, and they're just kind of dwelling within their energy by themselves on their own without expressing it. Without expressing it, faded to suffer in reverse. Two of Pentacles in reverse. So now this person may be dropping a ball in another situation. And that could be why they in reclusive energy because essentially this person needed time to themselves to really think this through. They could have been with somebody else. They could have been juggling you. And that could have been a reason why you decided to pull back your energy and stop dealing with this individual obsession. And now it's like they they may be deciding that they want to drop the ball on another situation. Or they, they getting out of their head when it comes down to trying to become balanced. The reason why this person is obsessed is because they held back. They gave you the opposite energy of what they truly felt. Or they had a lot of things on their mind that they wanted to tell you that they never got a chance to tell you. And for some of you, it, this can be a worry or a fear of this individual that they are going to have to live out the rest of their life with these emotions buried deep. Knowing that they never expressed themselves. That they kept a lot to themselves. They could have even treated you in a way where they were like mentally abusive or they played mind games with you or they verbally abused you. And I, I just get a lot of energy project projecting. With this Eight of Wands here, I feel like this person mostly communicated mentally. I feel like this person wants forgiveness now, but at one point they had absolutely no remorse as to the energy that they was putting out, but they want to drop the burdens. Yeah, because it's burdensome that this person has unexpressed emotions or unexpressed thoughts. Queen of my world. With the sixth card here, this can definitely, yes, you have some type of title in their life and they want to invest in that now. Yes, they can't get out of their head and they want to. This individual, this person, um, this person is trapped in their head and they want to get out. They feel like the only way that they can get out is if they have a conversation with you. If they release their emotions, this person likely may want to have a child with you. They could have even, I don't see the energy of them getting a reading, but somehow they know you have a title in their life. Whether they think you're their divine feminine um, or had a, a past life love, but they feel as though you have a special title in their life. Okay, so I do feel like this person wants to invest. They may want a family. They want to um, manifest getting like unstuck. They're tired of living in their head about the situation. Is what I'm saying because it's causing this individual to be trapped to be stagnated um at the bottom of the deck i'm getting the eight of pentacles so in reverse so the reason why they haven't been able to put true effort into this situation is because spirit is trying to press this individual to do some inner work before they actually come towards you like it it really could be needed i don't feel like it's an option i don't feel like it will work out with this person's inner wounds because everything that this person is trying to do they try to do spiritually and they need to connect their third dimensional self with their fifth dimensional self and, and come towards you all together. It's okay if there's a balance in both. But it's like you don't know what this person feels so you walked away from them. It's like 
whatever attachment you had towards this person is died down because maybe you felt like this person wasn't connected to their heart space. That could have been what you found out. That this person has a hard time with intimacy, love, expressing themselves because the inner work that they refuse to do. And that could be what they're doing now because Hermit coming up is letting me know that this person can be reflecting. But at the same time of them reflecting, they're still trying to manifest you in. And when I asked which zodiac sign should go first out of the earth signs, I got the magician. Okay, so let's see. But like I said, the magician came out, so I feel like this person like really tries to manifest you more than they really try to do anything else. They need to take action, action, like physical action. Because this can be all like what they fantasize about. I feel like they really do want to take action here. Because the Eight of Wands is physical. You know, not mental. Because I am seeing this. Mental energy here. It's like they want to get out of the Eight of Swords. And get into the Eight of Wands with you. Where it's like they take an action. It's a lot of communication. Like they want to be lovebirds with you. Again, especially if that's some energy that they had before with you. So, yeah, so this person is starting to overcome this energy that they're not enough. So that's the reason why they kind of bailed on you is because, um, yeah, they could have ran. Either this person is a narcissist or the, and they saw you as not enough or this person has always been a part of a narcissistic dynamic. They have always been made to feel like they wasn't enough. It's either or. Because this person definitely could have been the one that ran away from you towards a narcissist. Because you see this? Just is how it came out. Okay? It's just it's not enough in reverse. Runner. And then the golden mirror. And the golden mirror can definitely be this energy of somebody that's like... They ran right into like a one-sided relationship with somebody that was very self-absorbed. And possibly, you know... Love bombed them. Convince them to walk away from you. Convince them that they were better than you. You know? Why is the Queen of Cups here? And so now this person is realizing like, dang, you know, Virgo is very valuable in my life because I'm coming towards this person that's so selfish and only think about them own selves and their satisfaction. Yeah. They not they haven't been talking to you, Virgo. Whoever this person is, it's like it's been no conversation. And they miss that uplifted energy. You've been in the Queen of Cups energy. They've been in the King of Swords and Reverse energy. It's likely they're the one that was acting with narcissistic tendencies. Being one-sided. Being very self-absorbed. I'm going to have to take that down. Why is the Eight of Wands here? Yeah. It's like the mad, they had a mad slip with somebody that was in their life. They put somebody else besides you on a pedestal and that person turned out to be self-absorbed. And for some of you, they were even dealing with other people outside of your person. And your person realized like, I let go of somebody that was so loyal, so loving, unconditionally loving, motherly, beautiful, you know, just giving the best type of energy and making me feel like, my life just don't always have to be bad luck and bull crap. You know what I'm saying? They had unconditional love for somebody that didn't have unconditional love for them. And something happened. This person's mask came off. Okay? And now it's like they was exalting this individual with this queen of the heart. This could definitely be how they, they were feeling about somebody else. And it could be how they feeling about you now because they realizing the essence of a true divine feminine, a healer, a light worker, somebody that's of lighter energy rather than dark energy. Why is the title card here? Yeah. So they want to come towards you. I feel like this person will even settle for a friendship if they, you know... If you would allow it, is what I'm saying. Because I'm seeing that this person want to be lighthearted. 
um, they definitely found out something in their life that is making them think in a whole different way. Um, and they're ready to change and heal. And that's why the hermit is coming out. You know, so for a lot of you, it may be the other way around. This could be a cross watcher reading. So why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Okay. Yeah. So this person didn't think they was ever coming back to you. Maybe they felt like you wouldn't give them a second chance after everything that happened. But I do feel like this person is wanting to give it a second chance. They they have been meeting new people. I do feel they've been out there dating. But this person wants you to meet the new side to them. That's what I genuinely feel. It's like they want you to see this changed version of them. To see this version of them that actually can um, open up and be, you know emotionally available to a situation with you instead of just like expressing their emotions behind the scene okay guys i'm so sorry for all the interruptions but i couldn't deal with that but that may be um that may be a sign for you guys to make sure that you know you're not doing anything that may cause a fire because either i haven't noticed that before this video or it just started doing that and it just got louder because it was like unbearable for me. I'm like, wow, I feel really distracted. So, you know, make sure you guys are not like leaving candles lit overnight or like keeping things plugged up that you know has a shortage, you know, unplug those things at night or whenever they not unattended, don't walk away from the stove, you know, yada, yada. But just be careful, you know, because I feel like that's a sign. Again, if it was doing that before your video, it was like shortly before your video and it wasn't even noticeable to me. But now it was. It's like, wow, you know, so that's even a sign for me because I'll be leaving candles lit overnight <laughs> over here on my desk. Anyway. Okay, so let's see. Why is the Two of Pentacles in reverse? Hmm. Okay, so yeah, somebody making up their mind that you they twin flame and they feel like they're running out of time with the situation. Maybe if they were able to pull your energy through photographs or videos, they can't do it anymore. So there's this sense of blockage, like maybe the um, cord is cut here. Um, ooh. Yeah, there could even be this energy where you block them, you know, and that's the reason why they can't look at your photographs. But if this person has pictures of you in their phone, it's like maybe before they could like look at your picture and like suddenly get a text message from you. And now that's not working anymore because maybe you cut the cord or, you know, you separated yourself, but you, you break in ties with this person and they could feel it. If this person is your twin flame, you can't cut the cord. But if you, if this person is doing a lot of negative things to you, then spirit definitely will relieve you from that contract for the time being, especially if they just doing too much that your soul can't bear, you know? So why is the five of cups in reverse here? Either this person really isn't remorseful or they weren't remorseful at the time or this person want forgiveness. So let's see. It could be some of that for all of y'all. Yeah, this person can no longer watch you. Let's see, five of cups in reverse addiction in reverse or they try not to anymore y'all photographs and addiction is in reverse they trying to kick this addiction that maybe they realizing like this shit is becoming unhealthy and this is probably why this person is walking away and they could be knowing now that you know again they ran out of time here you know you gave them time they had ample time they didn't take advantage of that time why is the ten of wands here in reverse Ascending, wow, you dropped this burden and you just selling away. I'm just saying, take, take me away. Maybe you even found somebody new because I'm here and I love my baby. But this can be how this person is feeling. And they could be feeling like it's heavy or burdensome because they never had a chance to tell you. And this could be really because they didn't feel like that until you walked away. For some of you. This person had addictions that they getting over. That's why they want forgiveness here. They want to resurrect something that they felt like they would never even want a second chance at. Why is the Eight of Swords here?
Why is the Eight of Swords here in reverse, actually? I just feel like this person want to get out of a mental headspace about it. Yeah, karmic relationship. They had to free themselves from a snake. Yeah, whoever this person is, they had to free themselves from a snake. You know, I don't know. Somebody that was, I, they, could be, they could be with a fire sign. You know, or a Scorpio, because Scorpios also represent the lowest vibrational, the snakes represent the lowest vibrational form of a Scorpio. Okay, so they could have been with a Scorpio or a fire sign that they were in a karmic relationship with. This person, they could have a trauma bond with this person. They were having a hard time letting go because of a lack of self-love. Um, but this person kept reminiscing back to a time where they were actually taking a chance with you. And maybe they starting to wonder, yeah. They definitely starting to face the energy that they feel towards you. And no, I don't see it as love yet, but they do like you. But they coming out of this, this energy of obsessing. This person is dropping options. Maybe they realizing that it's not about quantity, but it's more about quality. And you have the quality that they was ducking and dodging. They no longer want to make you chase them, you know. So there's that energy. So let's see what this person's true intentions are towards you, Virgo. That way you don't get no, nothing mistaken, okay? Okay. So, I'm hearing, we've been on a tragedy for months. Why? We've been on a tragedy for months. Why can't you agree with me for once? I don't know what that's about. Maybe, I don't know. It could be you or them. Because somebody could be feeling like it's such a tragedy that something that, that could have been like meant to be, faded, destined, is like turning into such a negative thing because somebody just don't want to cooperate. Their ego and their pride is in the way. So, yeah, maybe we can be on chill tonight. So, somebody want to chill with you again? That's what I'm saying, Virgo. They want to get out of this tragedy. They could want you to cooperate with them. Like, maybe they just want you to do what they want you to do. But let's see what their true intentions are towards you. What is this person's true intentions towards Virgo spirit? Mm hmm. A wonderful idea. They want to work with you. But they definitely have some type of wake up call as to who you are. They don't want you to clear their energy out. You know, maybe they're now realizing that they've been avoiding cleaning up their life. But they don't want you to clear them off, they, off your space. And we keep getting that because the I won't cry for you anymore. I don't know if this person just wants you to be over there crying over them. Or if it's that they're not trying to make you and that they're not trying to put you in that energy no more. And they want you to come back. Yeah, they see that you got a lot of wisdom, great work ethic, a lot of bright ideas. This person is getting out of that energy where they envious of your authenticity because they could have just not liked the fact that you so different and didn't really care what nobody think. Like this person could have felt like, you know, conform. Yeah, they felt they find that you healing. This person may want to get away with you because I'm definitely seeing that. They may want to go on some type of nature trip. That could be what they're trying to do before they come towards you too, to get themselves more grounded and balanced here. This person, definitely, they see you as a healer. They want to be healed. Um, I feel like they really want to be healed. Like they, they want to heal a lot of aspects of themselves before they actually come towards you. But this person does see you as a healing individual. They could be connected to um, nature a lot more. But I do feel like they want to take you on some type of trip where, um, or retreat or something where you guys can really nest, get to know each other, kind of be in each other's energy day in and day out just to see how y'all vibe. Because they was afraid of the unknown before. It's like, where are you taking me? But now it's like, they've had this aha moment that it's time for them to get out of this fear because it's doing more damage than good to them for them to be staying in stuck and stagnant energy that is not really serving their highest good, okay? So if there is any love messages from this individual, what would they want to say?
Mm. So, yes, healing. We keep saying about healing. Yeah, this person will want to say that they were having trust issues, that they didn't really feel like they could trust you, you know, that they tired of longing for you, tired of longing and obsessing for a really long time, you know, and they see that you are losing your vulnerability towards them. Maybe they can also, they don't feel you longing for them anymore. They used to probably could feel your energy very, very clear. And now it's like a very foggy connection, staticky connection. They can't really feel your energy. True love is in reverse. They want to tell you that the reason why all of this happened, the reason why they were pulled in another direction is because they truly thought that person was their true love. And they really do want forgiveness. You know, they are in the process of learning a spiritual lesson as it pertains to this connection here. But y'all, they see that you, that their lack of integrity has pushed you away. Alright guys, I hope this helps somebody. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Join the Soul Tribe and I'll check you guys out on the next one. Peace.